I'm going to show you guys today is uh, we've unboxed the MIG 185i. So fresh out of the box, we're going to show you how to install the aluminum torch and run the aluminum wire through the machine, as well as what wires you're going to need uh, to attach to be able to plug in and get power to it. So if you look over here, once you've unboxed it, this is the torch that's inside of it. This is for the aluminum. So it's already marked on there. And you'll see you'll have a protective sleeve right here. So all you need to do is take the torch out of the box. You remove that little sleeve right there. And then you'll have a Teflon tube. Inside of here, there's a hole. So we're going to line the Teflon tube up inside there. And then just feed it into the machine. Once everything lines up, we'll turn this collar down, and that'll make all of our connections. Now on the inside here, this is our, uh, keeps pressure on our drive roller, so we'll drop that down and flip this up. You can see that little bit of Teflon inside that, uh, that hole right there just before, just before the roller. So we're going to feed it into there. So what we'll do is we take our roll of aluminum wire here. We'll cut this off so that this way it's nice and straight. Mount the spool. Push the wire through there. Into the Teflon. Close this down. And put the tension on it. And then you'll be able to feed it right through the torch. And that's it. You're ready to weld. Connecting your welder to uh, power. What you're going to see is you're going to see a, a yellow and green wire here, or it's going to be a straight green wire. You're going to connect this to a ground, and then these two are your hot leads. This is going to be a 240 welder, so you have ground and then two powers. Depending on the plug that's at your shop, you'll have to look at what uh, kind of manuals or get a licensed electrician to make these connections. Once you've set your welder up for aluminum, you do have the option, if you got the optional uh, steel torch, to be able to swap it over for either silicon bronze or uh, steel welding. So what we could do is we just flip this up on the side, we're going to drop our tension. If we have a roll of wire in there, we're going to roll it back and, uh, and take that out. And then we're going to disconnect our torch. And pull the, pull the sleeve out. Now once that's done, inside the box of your welder, you have a couple different things. You have an owner's manual, you have a brass tube, and you have a roller along with some Allen keys, some Allen screws, and a hose clamp. So all you're going to do, we're going to take we're going to take the Allen key out of here. And on my drive roller, there's a flat spot on the drive. So that's where my Allen key is. I'm just going to take this and crack that loose and remove the roller. This one's for the aluminum. Now I'm going to take my steel roller. Now we're going to be running 0 .030 wire. So what we're going to do is we're going to take the 0 .030 and face that to the inside. So I'll take my Allen key right there, throw in my set screw. Put it all the way onto the machine and tighten that down. Now once the roller is installed, I take my brass tube and in front of the machine right here, where that hole was where the uh, nylon, uh, the Teflon sleeve went in, we're just going to insert this tube and push it in as far as we can go. Now you don't have to worry about seating it to the right depth yet because what we're going to do is on our steel torch. The steel torch does not have the Teflon that the aluminum did. So what we'll do is we'll use this to seed it the rest of the way. So I'll come in here, I'll line everything up, just give it a push, lock that knuckle down. Now if I'm going to run steel through it, I'd mount my steel wire, I'd push the steel wire in through this sleeve, and then you can see where that brass tube now sticks out. So you'll run your brass, uh, silicon bronze or your steel, put it on there and clamp for pressure and you're good to go. So we're going to 
gonna do is we're gonna load steel into our machine here. I have the steel torch, you know this because I have the brass tube right there, and I have the steel roller right here. The aluminum roller is marked with a letter A, so that's how you tell the difference between the two. Now to get this started, all I'm gonna do is I'm gonna drop this right here on the, on the holder. I'm gonna feed this through the first tube. And then once I get to the back here, you may need to use a pen or something to straighten it out and get it through that second hole. But once it's through, you just drop that down, get the pressure on it, push your reel up onto the piece. This piece is keyed, so it's got to go a certain way. Our spring and our retaining nut. You don't need to crank this all the way down. Just get it on pretty good, and then you're good to go. All right, so to switch the machine from a regular steel weld to a spot weld, all you're gonna do is just unscrew this nozzle, don't lose the porcelain. Then your spot weld nozzle has a little collar, so we're gonna put the collar on, and then we're gonna slide the spot weld nozzle tip on. Now, as far as the machine, we come over here, press and hold for two seconds, brings up my menu, I'm gonna scroll down to spot, I'm gonna tap it, and I'm gonna change spot to on, and I'm gonna tap it again. Then if you look here, I set my spot weld time to point, uh, 1.7 seconds. So I press and hold for two seconds, it's gonna go back to our main screen. And then to get that weld flat, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna tap and I'm gonna turn my arc length all the way up to, on mine, it's 5.7, uh, but yours it might vary. And then just tap and then you're ready to go.